And uh, with that said, I would like to introduce our next presenter, who is Professor Vladis Pirags from Latvia. And he will be speaking about the benefits of integrative thinking in the modern world of artificial intelligence. Please welcome. Yeah, thank you so much and uh, good afternoon. And I'm, I'm very honored to be here and, and uh, I have been many. I have been many times in Prague, and I like it very much. Uh, and uh, it reminds me also Riga, and Riga is quite similar, but much larger, uh, smaller, and we don't have uh, so big tourists as you do. <laughs> so, uh, what I'm, uh, what I will speak about is uh, another integration, and uh, this is integration of um, our thoughts. So the new kind of uh, thinking is necessary if we want to survive in, the, in those times of changes. And, and changes are really unexpected now. You remember COVID, uh, you see the uh, aggression of, uh, of uh, Russia in, in Ukraine, uh, you see many other developments. But not all of them are uh, so bad. Uh, I think uh, artificial intelligence uh, can be dangerous and can be, can be something good. And um, I would say that um, many professions will uh, change now in, in this age. And um, we have to think probably this uh, emerging of uh, the new kind of uh, technologies will also change the environment of healthcare. And I hope very much that um, the approach of integrative medi medicine will be uh, the next stage in the development of uh, medicine uh, in the future. So, um, what is um, in artificial intelligence? And this is one of uh, many uh, possible explanations. Uh, so, uh, if you see at the, the, the human brain, it has uh, two hemispheres, right? And uh, in, in this picture, you see that uh, one of the hemispheres is actually changed into the dig digital uh, form of information instead of biological, uh, neurological information. And that is exactly what uh, is uh, happening now in, in the world of uh, modern technologies. Uh, what is the difference between uh, human intellect and artificial intelligence? Human intellect accumulates a lot of uh, patterns, and those patterns are much older than than ourselves. So they, they were in our brain uh, in, in the embryonal stage. And uh, the same structures were in, in the brain of people uh, 1,000 years back, 100,000 years back. I, I would say that uh, those structures are millions of years old. But uh, the artificial intelligence is just, uh, uh, my estimate, uh, around 30 years old. But um, the, the difference is that um, the human intellect accumulates the ability to analyze and, and predict uh, our natural environment and the natural uh, lifestyle including the natural health. However, the uh, artificial intelligence is, is taking information from different databases. And uh, for, for example, ChatGBT is generating uh, texts based on uh, internet sources, which, is un which are analyzed in uh, amazing uh, velocity. But uh, still, the those texts are much less, uh, you know, in uh, much less containing uh, 
some prominent ideas. It's just uh, average, uh, average uh, level of uh, information. But let's see what will happen in the future. Uh, going to the healthcare, um, I think the surgeons are, uh, and radiologists are two professions which are uh, the most endangered currently. And, and you see um, one picture depicting how uh, uh, robots uh, are, are uh, doing surgery uh, stom on, on uh, you see, the stomach of the patient. And, and, and surgeons are just staying on the right uh, and, and, and watching. Uh, probably they will need uh, to, to intervene if something will go wrong. So we don't uh, want to have such a future. Uh, currently, there are some robots, you know, the very simple ones, to, uh, ma making cleaning, but um, it could be very soon that, that we will uh, do the cleaning part and, and they will uh, manage that. So we don't want to have it. Uh, this is quite interesting. Uh, uh, graph from the Economist, uh, General Econ Economist, and, and, and uh, that depicts um, which professions are at, at danger currently. And uh, the, the forecast is uh, those people who are working in uh, food preparation, construction, cleaning, driving, agriculture, garment manufacturing, uh, service, sales, uh, and uh, customer service are the most endangered professions. Uh, probably uh, fi 50 of them could um, lose the job. So, you see, healthcare is, is uh, somehow uh, not so endangered, and, and also hospi uh, hospitality and retail management and, and uh, teaching as well. So what, what is the difference between the upper part of uh, those professions and our profession, healthcare? So those in the upper part are uh, working according to the algorithms. So there, there are the, the, the rules, how they uh, do their job are very much uh, standardized. However, in health, healthcare and especially in teaching, it's, it's uh, not so. And uh, what is the difference? Well, why we are more uh, on the safe side. Yeah, this is another um, comment uh, from uh, Robert Shear. He's an um, American radiologist, and, and um, there is currently uh, discussion also, not only in Hollywood, uh, among uh, the, 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 those um, uh, writers uh, of the serials, but also radiologists, and, and you know, many uh, artificial systems are much more precise in detection of uh, early changes in, in, uh, in image, uh, medical imaging. So, but uh, his, his uh, res recipe is not, not try to fight with, with that, but just embrace the artificial intelligence because it will be good for your patients, because it will make you better, more efficient, happier, because uh, if you don't do that, you will be replaced by other radiologists who, who will embrace uh, artificial, in, 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 but if you, artificial intelligence. If you refuse to embrace, then you will uh, be embraced by uh, artificial intelligence. So there is no escape, uh, uh, Dr. Shears is saying. What is this, the escape ac actually? Escape is the new way of uh, thinking. And um, this is uh, the one um, table from um, the Harvard Business Review Press uh, uh, paper by, by Roger, Roger Martin. 
and he compares uh, two ways of um, successful thinking. And, and uh, on, on the, in the gray color, the, the first line is uh, the way how traditionally people think, and which probably will be endangered by, by artificial intelligence because uh, they are focusing only on obviously relevant features. They consider only one way, uh, and, uh, and they are taking into account linear relationships be between variables. They break problems into the pieces and ver uh, work on them separately and sequently. And then uh, they make either choices, they, they make either or choices, settle on best available options. I would say that is also the traditional way how uh, conventional uh, medicine works. And you may understand that my next thesis will be that uh, the Ayurveda and other complementary or uh, integrative approaches of medicine are, have different uh, approach to the human health and, uh, and to the world uh, generally. So we have to try to, to, to see less obvious but potentially relevant factors like Ayurveda, Vaidyas. We should consider a multidirectional and nonlinear relationship uh, among variables. We should she, uh, see uh, problems on a whole, examining whole, how the parts uh, uh, fit together and how decisions affect one another. And uh, we, we should finally creatively resolve tensions among opposite ideas and generate innovative outcomes. So that is the way uh, into the future of, um, of medicine. And in the center of, uh, of healthcare systems uh, should not be a body and even not mind, but uh, the consciousness. And consciousness is that um, that part which, um, which um, reacts to the environment and, and uh, the way how, uh, how we understand our world. So how to, how to influence the consciousness? Consciousness is in, in the center of, of many circles, including the family, society, and, and finally the culture. And uh, there were, were several, several observations before me uh, how Indian uh, culture and uh, approach um, is uh, different to the, in, in, in different aspects. But um, I think we have to learn from, uh, from Indian systems, uh, traditional Indic sciences, as, as, uh, because our institute is, is called International Institute for Indic Sciences in Riga, how really to deal with the, the new challenges in the, the rapidly transforming world. I don't know, uh, uh, should I tell you about um, Indian uh, uh, systems, but um, I will uh, shortly go through it because it, 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 it um, just uh, confirms uh, that uh, the way of thinking is uh, properly integrative, not uh, uh, conventional. So you know, all of you know uh, Vata, Pitta, uh, and Kapha, um, Doshas, and, and then uh, it corresponds to changes in physical, mental, and emotional uh, uh, systems of, of the human. And, and uh, yeah, I will f finish in one minute. And uh, yeah, it, it actually corresponds to the very ancient um, observations that also our whole environment, our 
whole world is a uh, similar system, which has this uh, triunity or, or trinity. And the uh, physical state, uh, the ma ma uh, matter, uh, corresponds to uh, kapha. And uh, the mental state, more or less, corresponds to vata principle. And uh, physiological state is a fluctuating, uh, fluctuating and, and um, changing uh, things uh, very much corresponds to pitta. So, the same uh, if you look at the three states of, of the mind, tamas, rajas, sattva. And I will finish with this slide. So, we are on the on the threshold when uh, medicine will, will change. This is uh, unavoidable. And the old medicine was um, more or less sick care. Now we are living in the final uh, stage of uh, current medicine, which is practically medical industry-based medicine. And uh, the future medicine will be integrated medicine. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you so much, Professor Pirax, uh, for bringing this topic to our platform. Artificial intelligence can be a true blessing if it's in the right hands, but also a curse if it's in the wrong hands. <laughs>